Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, hey there, it's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. Welcome to your July monthly readings. Hey, July, all right, we're in the middle of the summer guys, it's great. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Happy birthday to all the Cancers out there. Um, I, this is, today is what? Today is the 8th of July. So we are still in Cancer season. So I hope you guys are all enjoying your birthdays, uh, your birthday season. And to all the Leos out there, your birthdays are coming up. So I'll say happy birthday to you guys now, but we'll get to that next month, yeah? Um, so I did something a little bit differently this time. I wanted to get into the energies first before I started reading for them. I'm not so keen personally on forecasting, on fortune telling. I tell people all the time I am not a fortune teller, okay? I'm more about um, understanding the current energies and bringing clarity to them to help you you know, make the best decision for yourself moving forward. So that's why I waited a little bit before um, I release I put out the, the July monthlies. Also, if you're seeing some smoke, don't worry about it. <laughs> My apartment's not on fire. <laughs> I'm just burning some sage, yeah? Um, let's see, anything else? These are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, if you would like a personal reading, I am very much available for that. You can go ahead and email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Um, num, 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 num. I think that's it. So what I'm doing with this, the readings this month, I am using the Golden Universal Tarot for the, you know, the general message. And then I'm also getting Oracle Guidance from the Unicorns and the Crystal Mandala deck. And uh, when it comes to the Crystal Mandala deck, I am um, focusing it on, yes, bringing the message forward, but also putting forth the intention that the, whatever crystal comes out, if you feel uh, guided to purchase that crystal so that you can work with it, I highly recommend that you do so. Yes, 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 that's always a fun thing to do. And yeah, I believe that is it for now. So let's get into the reading, yeah? Yay! Hey Scorpio, welcome to your reading for the month of July. Let's get started. Sorry, I gotta fix my chair. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right. Hey Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Scorpio for the month of July to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Scorpio, so I'm seeing a lot of purple energy around you. This is divine wisdom. Um, you really could be getting in tune with your psychic abilities as well. Um, you know, as a water sign, you're quite intuitive. Um, but I'm just hearing, I'm getting divine downloads are coming in for you, which is great, Scorpio. It could be leading to some action for you. Because now I'm seeing yellow. Um, if not action, then just uh, general illumination, um, joy. Yeah, you could be receiving some templates that really improve the quality of your life. Okay? And lead to some healing. Because now I'm seeing green. Scorpio. My advice to you there is to really work on grounding it, like pulling these downloads down into your load, all throughout your chakras, down into your root chakra, even into the earth. Yeah, really, really ground them. Because if they just stay up in your higher centers, you know, it's really not, there's nothing you can do with it there, you know, you can't really make full use of it. All right, Scorpio, one more shuffle for you, and then... I'll cut the deck. Scorpio. All right. So, starting off here, Scorpio, we've got the hanged man. The hanged man is reversed. You could be coming out of a self-imposed isolation. I did, I just heard a tower moment. 
So you may have had a tower moment recently, um, which puts you in this hanged man state. For the most part, you're coming out of it. Some of you are might still be in it. Okay, moving forward, we've got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Um, we've got the Two of Wands in reverse. And we've got the Six of Pentacles. All right. So, all right, so you're, for, for what I'm getting here, for the most part, Scorpio, you're stuck. You're stuck in this hanged man state, and you don't want to come out of it because you feel inadequate with the Nine of Pentacles reversed. You feel financially or um, physically inadequate. You don't feel independent. Or you're, you feel you're lacking independence in some way, which is causing you to not be able to choose a direction. <clears throat> All right? With the Six of Pentacles here, the main focus for you is balance between give and take. You may have been in a situation in the past where um, somebody was giving you a ton and you weren't really giving anything in, the, in return, or it could be the other way around. You were the one giving a ton and no one was, and, and the other person or the other people or whatever wasn't giving back. The Six of Pentacles is upright though. So that's telling me that this is your focus. <clears throat> you want to bring material balance. You want to be able to give back. And, and you may not feel like you are, <clears throat> excuse me, financially stable enough or independent enough to do so. So it's, it's causing you to not be able to choose a direction, um, choose an action, and it's causing you to stay in this, in, in, in a hermit stage, but it's not the hermit, it's the hanged man. This is self-imposed. Okay, let's move forward. We've got the Knight of Wands in reverse. All right, wanting to move forward with something that's really passionate, but not doing it. With the Magician. The Magician is upright. Okay. So you're working on manifesting. Maybe you're leaving the wishy-washy Knight of Wands energy behind, the in and out, um, always on the move, always on the go energy. And instead, you're manifesting something new. I'm picking up an energy of you just might not be ready yet. Because the magician is, is, is telling me that you're in the process of manifesting something. Okay. Moving forward, we've got... Ooh, the Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay. With the Nine of Cups in reverse. Hmm. I'm getting an energy of maybe someone rejected you. Someone that you thought was wish fulfillment. But with the Queen of Swords in reverse, I'm I feel like there was a misunderstanding. And that's now turned into a setback for you. Or someone connected to you, Scorpio. There could be an energy of drowning your sorrows. Um, I feel like there's someone around you that is super, super cutting. Just like for no reason whatsoever. Or, and this is why, this is why I feel like there was a misunderstanding because someone lashed out, um, in a way that was pretty harsh, manipulative even. And this probably came from a feminine energy because of the queen of, Pe of swords here. And now because of it, either you Scorpio or someone else, like you could be the Scorpio, you could be the one that lashed out. And now you might be regretting it. You might be remorseful of it. And you might be drowning your sorrows, your sorrows, or this other person is. Because they don't know what to do. Mm. Next. Uh-oh, we've got counterparts, guys. We've got the King of Swords. And now the King of Swords is reversed, too. 
with Ooh, the King of Pentacles. Okay. But see, now the King of Pentacles here is the direct opposite of this feeling of the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, of not being independent, being inadequate. So, whoops. Oh, goodness, I just dropped my crystal. So, maybe it's all in your head. Maybe you are more financially stable than you think or independent than you think. But then up in your head, you're like, no, no, no. I'm also picking up an energy that this feminine energy here that's represented by the Queen of Swords, she was manipulative to the, to the, in the sense that she made you or someone else or whatever feel like you were inadequate. By constantly berating you, telling you you're inadequate. And that led to drowning of sorrows. Maybe this person, who was represented by the Queen of Swords, was constantly inebriated, constantly on using, like, overindulging, uh, drinking, constantly drinking, whatever, like something like that. This could be a, 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 a Femin a mother figure in your life, Scorpio. Or in someone else's life that you're connected to, Scorpio. And as a result, whoever is represented by the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles here is actually really good financially, is stable and grounded, but when it comes to their mental process, when it comes to their view of themselves, they're twisted up inside. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving forward, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. And immediately I'm feeling like whoever we're talking to here needs to walk away from this Queen of Swords energy. But they're not. Because they've been manipulated into believing that they cannot survive on their own. Hey, and look, now we have the King of Wands in reverse. I really feel like this is the Scorpio energy with all these kings here. Lack of self-confidence with the King of Wands in reverse to move on on their own. Feeling inadequate with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Mm. This Queen of Swords really did a number on you, didn't they? Wow. All right, moving forward, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And with this, I'm getting that someone is overworking, but overworking in the very wrong direction. Something that is not fulfilling for them. Something that's not going to be fulfilling for them. Something that this Queen of Swords got them into, and now they're afraid to let it go. But it's not something they wanted to do, and it is never something they wanted to do. Eight of Pentacles with the Hierophant. Yes! This is society saying, this is what you need to do. To be a good person is what I just heard. And so now this person is working and working and struggling and fighting and is not happy. The Hierophant also tells me that you've got to be listening to, be, to yourself now. Not society, not this queen of swords. Yourself. Right? Right? Moving forward, we have the page, no, I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. I mean, I guess that's not so bad because I feel like with this energy, you could really plan your escape. Okay. Just try not to get too stagnant and also try not to be too hard on yourself, right? Because I'm getting that too with the, page, with the Knight of Pentacles. Coupled with the world in reverse. All right, <clears throat> there is an energy of procrastination, not moving too quickly. But also I feel like with the world in reverse here, things are in the process of coming to an end. It's just a matter of getting there is what I just heard. Okay. 
Moving forward, we have, ooh, ooh, wow, there is a lot of, the, King of Cups in reverse. This is definitely you, Scorpio. And you are at odds with yourself. And it's all because of this Queen of Swords. And I'm really picking up a heavy mother energy here. And despite all of the things that she has ingrained into your head, you're good financially in some way. You're grounded, you're stable somehow. Because the King of Pentacles is upright, but the King of Swords, the King of Wands, and the King of Cups are both reversed. I'm sorry, all three of them are reversed. And I'm really picking up that that's the Scorpio energy in this situation. Okay, King of Cups with the Three of Cups. Okay, I feel like you are relying on social atmosphere, social situations to help you cope. With the pain, the emotional pain and trauma that you're, you've been dealing with for years. This is... I'm also getting an energy of putting up a facade to make you seem to make it seem to out to the outside world that you're okay. It's like it's like you're surrounding yourself with all these people that are acting like a smoke screen so that you can suffer in silence. Oh, my heart is breaking for you. <laughs> Finally, the nine of wands in reverse. You don't want to fight for this anymore. There's no reason for you to fight for this anymore. With the moon. I'm really getting intuition here. There is illusion around you, yes. But the illusion is that you can't move on on your own. The illusion is that you have to keep fighting for this, and you don't. At all. Not even a little bit, boo. <laughs> Not even a little bit. So also with the moon here, it need, you need to you need really need to rely on your intuition now to help get you out of this because you don't have to fight for this anymore. All right, you don't. Point blank. Period. You want to be in a relationship or a situation where there is equal balance between give and take. It, and you shouldn't have to feel like you can't have that. This Queen of Swords energy, man, she really did a number. And the funny thing about it is, it doesn't have to be so overt. It really could be very, very covert. Which is making it that much more confusing for you. Okay. Let's get into your oracle messages for July. For you, Scorpio. For you. Scorpio. What do the unicorns have to say, Scorpio? There you are. Okay, so you got two. The first one you got is trust. And the second is courage. Hallelujah, can I get an amen? Trust. Leap into the unknown. Have faith and move forward. Believe you will fly. You got everything you need to move on with your life. Okay? You are definitely not this, Scorpio. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You absolutely are the Nine of Pentacles upright. And you absolutely are the King of Pentacles upright. You don't have to be physically male, okay? But whoever I'm communicating with right now, whoever I'm talking about right now is masculine, is heavily masculine in energy. Masculine dominant in energy, because we both have masculine and feminine energies. But you got this. You've got the stability to move on in your own. But it's this illusion that this Queen of Swords has created that's making you think you can't do it. Illusion with the moon. Yeah? 
okay? And you got courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. <laughs> yes, fear is an illusion. But also the most important key phrase here on this card is set, what is it? Strong, set strong boundaries. You need to set a boundary around this Queen of Swords because she is doing nothing to help you. Again, this does not have to be a woman. Now, I was picking up some very heavy mother energy and I'm also hearing smother energy with that too. But she got to go, boo. Because she ain't doing nothing but hold you back. Now, this could be a man physically that is feminine dominant, but whatever. It really doesn't even matter. Because <laughs> ultimately, someone, someone twisted you up, man. And it's, it's a shame. All right. Crystal Mandala deck. So uh, whatever comes out here, if you feel compelled to get the crystal to help you work through things this month, I encourage you to do so. Scorpio. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. Scorpio. Scorpio. I know that's right. Goddess Rhiannon and Amazonite. Integrity. Boop! Take that, Queen of Swords. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be combative. It's just funny. Okay. <laughs> and actually, this is card number 47, which boils down to an 11. Boop! There's that. Okay. Goddess Rhiannon and Amazonite in an integrity. We bring you the empowerment of integrity. Integrity is the harmony between intention, word, and action. It is a, it is a discipline of love that creates inner security, confidence, and self-esteem. Holy moly. Integrity allows you to choose what, prom what promises you make according to the reasons that have meaning for you. It empowers you to make decisions that feel authentic and honor your values. It allows you to say no without guilt or shame because you are not willing to compromise who you are to make another comfortable. Hello. Yes. As you honor your words and actions, doing what you say you will do, when you say you will do it, you grow power and respect within. You can express your integrity absolutely, and yet with kindness and compassion. Integrity is the gift that will bring you a powerful peace of mind and loving respect. I'm sorry, loving self-respect. Let me tell you, whoever this Queen of Swords energy is, they taught you a valuable lesson in integrity because they were not acting from an integritous, integrous, or they were not acting from integrity themselves at all. But it's okay though, because you learned a lesson, Scorpio, or whoever, or someone that is surrounding you, Scorpio, someone you're connected with, learned a very valuable lesson. And you are strong enough to heal. You are strong enough to move forward. You are independent enough to build your own life outside of what whoever was trying to manipulate, in, manipulate you into, yeah? All right, Scorpio, there it is. Much, much love to you. I would absolutely recommend you go get a piece of Amazonite if you resonated with this reading. But yeah, I look forward to connecting with you guys next month for August, okay? Take care. Much love to you. Mwah. Bye.